Hi, thanks for watching. Uh, this I'm just going to show you how I removed my uh, UI lag from my 2012 uh, MacBook uh, Retina. And uh, I'm running the latest version of 10.9 and as you'll see through the video, the uh, lag is is uh, not too bad. In fact, it's, um, it's really good. And if you look at my other videos, you can see how bad the lag was. And this lag was also present in uh, the previous version of OS X. And uh, when I initially updated, um, to the new OS X Mavericks, I, uh, I had this lag, so I installed, uh, so I installed OS X Mavericks again, this time installing it from uh, an external hard drive and using a time machine backup to restore all my apps, I still experienced lag, so I thought, okay, it's got to be hardware. Well, I was wrong, and uh, I removed the lag, and I did this by formatting my hard drive, reinstalling OS X from a USB drive, but this time not restoring my Time Machine backup. I only restored my documents, my pictures, and my uh, you know movies and music. And uh, I did not uh, restore my applications. So I formatted my hard drive, I restored everything but my applications and I installed them at a uh, later time individually and this removed the UI lag. If you have a new computer, um, you shouldn't have to worry about this. Um, if you're doing, um, if you're going to do this, make sure you have a good time machine backup and you can always restore completely if, uh, if it doesn't work out for you or you miss, um, if you're missing information. But uh, hopefully uh, restoring without restoring your apps and installing them later works for you. Thanks for watching.